This is problem 2.6.5. It tells us we can play a game where we can win $10 with a probability of 1 8 or lose $1 with a probability of 7 8 We're going to play 50 times. We're supposed to find the expected value in standard deviation. And what would happen if we play 50 times? But before we can figure out what happens if we play 50 times, we need to come up here and figure out what will happen if we just play once. So that's the first step. So I would make a little chart with my outcome, my x value, and the probability of that x value. So you either win or lose. If you win, you get ten dollars, so there's a probability of one eighth. If you lose, it's minus one, probability of seven eighths. So the expected value of that, so again, we're just kind of looking at what happens when you play once, is going to be the sum of each x times the probability of that x. So it'll be 10 times 1 8 plus negative 1 times 7 8 which equals 3 8 So our expected value is actually positive. So this is actually a pretty nice game where you probably will win more than you lose. And you need to find the standard deviation. But before we find standard deviation, we have to find variance. Variance is you're going to take each x value minus the mean, which we just found up here to be 3 eighths, square it, and times it by the probability of that x value. And then we add all of that up. So my first x value is 10. I minus the mean I found of 3 eighths, because this is my mean that we found. Square it, and times it by its probability of 1 eighth. So 10 minus my mean times the probability of 1 eighth. Plus, now my next x value is this negative 1 minus 3 eighths squared times 1 eighth. Sorry, that was 7 eighths for the probability of our minus 1, which equals 847 over 64. Now, I found the variance this way. There's another way you can do it. So, we'll do method 2 here just because that's what I just realized I did in the solutions manual. So the variance can also be found by the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x squared. We use this method because sometimes it's quicker and faster. So to do that, let's first find the expected value of x squared. So the expected value of x squared is the same thing but you'll do the sum of each x squared value times its probability. So in our case, this would be 10 squared times its probability of 1 8 plus negative 1 squared times its probability of 7 8 which gives me 107 over 8. So now we can find that variance of x again which equals, so again, the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x squared. So expected value of x squared is 107 over 8 minus, and then we go back to our expected value of x, which was 3 eighths, but we have to square that. So 107 divided by 8 minus 3 eighths squared. which equals 847 over 64. So either way, you're going to get that same variance. The second method is easier when you have very long or more complicated problems with more outcomes. But either way, we found the expected value is 3 eighths. The variance is 847 over 64. That's if we play one time. But they said, what happens if you play 50 times? So if you want to play 50 times, you need to come up with what's your combination or what's your new random variable. So to play 50 times, you need to ask yourself, did you play once and multiply your winnings by 50, or are you playing 50 individual times and adding up your winnings? Well, it would make more sense if you're playing 50 times and adding up your winnings. So we need to find x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus dot, 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 all the way up to x50. So let's find the expected value of that, x1 plus dot, 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 up to plus x to 
50. So that will just be the expected value of x1 plus the expected value of x2 plus all the way up to the expected value of the 50th term. Well, every time the expected value is going to be 3 eighths. So we just do 3 eighths plus uh, 3 eighths and we do that 50 times. So that will be 50 times 3 eighths, which gives me 75 over 4. So we expect after 50 times to win about $18.75. Or if we did this many, many times, then every time we play 50 times, we should win about $18.75. Now, find your variance. I know it asks you to find standard deviation, but we always have to do variance first. The, pro the way we do this is always variance first. So the variance of x1 plus all the way up to x50. Well, variance rules say you just find each variance individually and add them up. So variance of x1 plus variance of x2 plus all the way up to the variance of x50. So the variance of each one is this 847 over 64. So we're going to add that 50 times. So 50 times 847 over 64. equals 661.7. And that's your variance. So now for the standard deviation, the standard deviation of this x1 plus all the way up to x50 will just be the square root of the variance. So square root of 661.7 gives me 25.72. So if you play 50 times, you can expect to win about $18.75, but you have a standard deviation of about $25, which means you could be quite a bit higher or quite a bit lower than that $18.